Hello everybody. So I'm back with another pick a card reading. Uh, the kings had a chance to convey their messages to speak their truth to us. So I figured, you know, it's only fair we should give the queens a, a, a chance to uh, to tell us what they need to tell us. So uh, we have here the queen of wands, the queen of cups, the queen of swords and the queen of pentacles. I know that it's different with the main playing cards. You know, this is diamonds, but it translates to pentacles. So queen of wands, Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Group 1, Group 2, Group 3, Group 4. So I'm going to give you a moment to kind of decide which queen you want to uh, hear from first. When you've decided, you can go down into the description box down below and there'll be timestamps that you can click on and that will take you to each queen's reading. Let me tell you a little bit about these queens just to kind of help you make up your mind. Now, these might remind you of a certain person. Um, it may be somebody that you... Uh, that you know and you're wondering if they could tell me something what would they tell me or it could be perhaps um, somebody on the other side an ancestor who wants to convey something for you so uh, or it could just be you know the advice that this kind of energy has for us you know maybe the queen of pentacles wants us to tell us to work harder that sort of thing so um, let's find out a little bit about the personalities of these queens the queen of wands group one um, she is very passionate she's probably very creative the Source of woman that walks into a room and really gets everybody's attention and um, she takes action when she needs to take action she's um, enthusiastic spontaneous probably doesn't really like to uh, stick around you know maybe she might be like let's all start knitting let's do a knitting project but then she gets bored and goes off doing something else so <laughs> it's that kind of energy a uh, fire sign energy if you're re looking for um, a fire sign today uh, the Queen is Cups energy. Uh, this is Water Sign energy. Again, doesn't have to be. Everybody can act in different Queen energies. But this is the sort of person who is very, very loving, very caring, really um, sympathetic. The sort of person who you can just have a really good chat with and you feel like uh, a load has been taken off you after you've done so. The sort of person who reaches out and says, how are you doing? Are you okay? Um very intuitive, uh, very caring, very emotionally balanced, emotionally stable. Very in tune with their emotions as well. They know how to express their emotions without kind of going overboard. Um, the Queen of Swords, this is air sign energy. The Queen of Swords um, can be a bit aloof, can be a bit cool, but it's because they process things in a very mental way. So they're kind of the strategists, uh, very logical. They're very much an ideas person. They probably have very, very, um, where the Queen of Wands is very creative, the Queen of Swords is more like, um, thinks outside the box, can see things from all different angles, very analytical, um, probably has a, quite a dry, sharp sense of humor. Um, takes action when she needs to take action she can be very direct very very honest even sometimes brutally honest but it's because she respects you enough to to give you that truth um the queen of pentacles is earth sign energy again doesn't have to be but the queen of pentacles is interested in um the tangible reality uh, the day-to-day -day things she will put the work in she will uh, <laughs> you know um make food she will go to work she'll pick up the kids uh, she's very very practical uh really kind of um somebody that you can rely on she is also normally quite nurturing uh does tend to value material things uh so she wants everybody to have like um, to be well dressed that kind of thing can also be somebody who's quite career minded quite business orientated but it's somebody who really is going to put the time and effort in put the work into something so maybe one of those reminds you of somebody um once you've picked go down into the description box down below and choose your reading if it doesn't resonate you can always come back and pick a different reading that's absolutely fine okay so uh without further ado i am going to jump to the first reading go and hit that uh, timestamp <laughs> once you've made up your mind i'll be back with you in a moment Hello to those of you who chose group number one and the Queen, Queen of Wands. Let's find out what she has to tell you. Queen of Wands, what would you like to talk about today? Clouds, temporary problems. So she may be trying to communicate to you that she has temporary problems, uh, perhaps some kind of uh, clouded judgment. She can't see the situation clearly. Or perhaps she's indicating to you that you... Um, possibly have slightly clouded judgment about some kind of ter temporary problems but we'll find out more about that as we go 
Queen of Wands, what would you like to say? Throne, position of authority. So she may be in a position of authority. She may be aiming to get a position of authority. Um, again, this could be someone you're connected with or just a general energy that wants to tell you something. She may be telling you that you're destined for power, you're destined for a position of authority, or that if you're going for some kind of, um, um, you know, career progression, that, she, that she's got your back, that she's behind you. Uh, perhaps something like that. Perhaps she's looking for a king to come and sit on the throne next to her, perhaps. Uh, perhaps she's having some kind of problems um, within her position of authority. Perhaps she's been having her authority challenged in some way. Um, man, dealings or relationship with a man. Now, this is a man. Um, so gender is often very fluid in tarot. It doesn't, normally doesn't matter what the character on the card is. Um, it can be she, he or they, however the person... Um, identifies. Uh, in this case, this is 100% definitely a man. Um, it, this is the meaning of this card, dealing with a relationship with a man. So that you could be a man watching this, or she could be communicating that you are going to have some kind of dealing, perhaps a problem with a man. Um, perhaps she's telling you uh, that she's with somebody, she's with a man. Um, hmm. I'm feeling a kind of competitiveness. Uh, the Queen of Wands does tend to have a competitive spirit. Uh, there may be the throne may be indicating some kind of um, job opportunity. There may be competition. She may be up against a man to get this this position. Um, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what's going on there, to be honest. Um, expectations don't seek anyone's approval so the queen of wands wants to tell you not to seek anybody's approval uh, we will read the description on that card um, in a moment i like that she's got converse on <laughs> um, so you can see there's some quite fiery energy there's like fiery orbs around her so um The fiery orbs are kind of giving me uh, three of wands energy. She is the queen of wands. So that would be um, a card about expectations, about waiting for your ships to come in. So it could be, she, the queen of wands could be communicating to you here that you are good enough. If you're going for some kind of, um, for something where there's a sense of competition around it. So whether that be some kind of new job or a position of authority or some kind of, um, you're after some kind of reward or recognition um, and you're wanting that approval from others, the Queen of Wands could be saying, um, don't seek that approval from anyone else. Um, find it within yourself first. Uh, the Queen of Wands um, is a very confident energy. She doesn't need anyone else's approval. So perhaps this is something that she wants to teach you. Uh, Treasure Island. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so funny because I did um, Cancer's reading today and I was talking about turtles and um, the possibility of uh, people who are were coming to that reading were, were actually moving house. So um, the, you could be a, a Cancerian watching this. Maybe you want to go and check out that reading. Um, Treasure Island, Treasure Island. So there is a, a sense of opportunity here, right? Like the competition, like looking for the buried treasure in a situation. Again, I'm going to have to fall back on the books here. I'm not getting a huge amount of intuition. Uh, but, <laughs> but as if... Um, oh, I'm just not sure if my children are knocking at the door. Just one second. No, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was the cat. Um, but the bat does have um, kind of a sixth sense, right? They have sonar. So they can see things that others can't see. Um, they're very good at navigating in the dark. So um, if it could be saying that with the temporary problems, with the clouded judgment, it could be saying that she could be saying that you need to use some kind of... Um, intuition here to kind of guide you through those periods of darkness you can see that the girl here is also in quite a dark like forest um and these kind of orbs are kind of guiding her in a way so again it could be something to do with like um something to do in night time uh, not being able to see very clearly in a situation having to use some kind of sixth sense or alternate guidance system the sun here that here we go though i love it when um cards like the clouds or the moon come um with the sun card the sun is um 
um, everything coming out in the open, everything being revealed. Um, it's also a card about confidence. It's Leo energy. So you could be dealing with a Leo possibly. But it's like um, clarity, happiness, freedom, uh, a big sigh of relief when everything is revealed. But it is actually the happiest card in the tarot. So um, this tells me that... that it's kind of telling me there's going to be some sort of reveal here um normally this card indicates that there's been some kind of um it's almost like she's coming out of a chrysalis and 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 the light is shining on her it's like a redemption energy of where perhaps uh, your reputation has been challenged or tarnished or perhaps the queen of wands her reputation could have been challenged or tarnished and this is saying that the light's going to come in um everything's going to become clear um and it's everything's going to kind of come to light and, and she's going to have this kind of redemption. Um, so if you've been questioning uh, possibly her loyalty, um, the sun is also a card that symbolizes loyalty. It normally has um, um, blah, 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 what they call sunflowers on it, uh, which symbolize loyalty. So she could be saying, look, I'm very, very loyal in this situation. Um, if you've doubted me, I'm going to, uh, everything's going to become clear. Oh, and then the lover's card. Interesting. So, uh, definitely could be somebody who is in um, a, a, a sexual relationship here. You could be in a sexual relationship with this Queen of Wands. Um, she's a very passionate energy. Uh, she's very, very, very sexual, very, um, really gorgeous, um, you know, really knows how to... Um, knows how to work that charm no matter kind of like what she was given at birth perhaps uh, she knows how to really make herself look very very attractive and and use her body in an attractive way as well very very charismatic energy so definitely could be a love interest for you um it could she could also be a love rival the the lover's card can sometimes symbolize a choice in love um a bit of a love triangle sometimes gemini energy there but it's like if you doubted her loyalty uh, she's going to be um, revealed to be very very lo loyal sorry if you can hear lego noises in the background there it's my children um so yeah perhaps you've doubted her perhaps she thought she was unfaithful but no she's um she's very very loyal um and also very very confident in love confident in making choices in love so this could be something that she wants to teach you um how to be confident in these kind of situations uh, she could be encouraging you to be very very loyal um if you are interested in this queen of wands in, in a romantic way uh, there could be another man involved in the situation so this is could be something that she's trying to tell you uh, she doesn't want to be disloyal um, now i don't know what would be going on in that situation if that was the case um but there could be something there ace of pentacles so the ace of pentacles is um almost like a universal gift um it's uh, an opportunity coming in it's something that's that can be very very profitable tangible and real so there could be some kind of job offer opportunity coming in here um definitely with that throne right with the position of authority could definitely be some kind of job opportunity that the queen of wands could want to offer you uh otherwise it's just something very very tangible uh, she might actually be telling you if you want it put a ring on it <laughs> um the the ace of pentacles can sometimes um symbolize a gift uh even an engagement ring uh so there could be something there with that uh let's read from the books and find out what exactly these cards are doing here so expectation number 12 one two does make does make three so there could be one or two does make three that was good grammar wasn't it there could be a third party here um for some of you with the lover's card with the man um and that could be where the clouds are there the obstacles are there she could be saying to you if you want me fight for me uh, come in with a solid offer i'm not going to be your piece on the side because i'm actually loyal um so if she was considering leaving a relationship she may be saying um I'm not going to be your thing on the side. I'm not going to have an affair. I'm, I want to be loyal to one person. Possibly. Um, 12. Don't seek anyone's approval. Mostly though, I would say, I mean, if it wasn't for the lover's card, I would say that this was a work thing with the throne there. But it could be that she's looking for a king to fill that throne, right? Um, 
Don't seek anyone's approval. People will always have their own expectations of who they think you should be. Their opinions are almost always based on restrictive societal norms and therefore are extremely unrealistic. No matter what they tell you, remember that you have permission to be whoever it is you wish to be. And you don't need anyone else's approval, only yours. Well, there you go. That's what the Queen of Wands wants to tell you. I mean, she's a very, very fiery, passionate woman who goes for what she wants. Um, you know, or she, he or they, however you identify. I'm saying she because it's you know, typically a female, the Queen. Um so she's, this is someone who's very confident, who knows exactly what they want, who doesn't think twice about going for what they want, and they don't care what other people think. You know, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, they're very much uh, the go-getters of the, of the zodiac. So uh, yeah, she's saying be confident, be strong-willed, know what you want, and don't worry about other people's opinions. Um, it's like if you want to go for, for a a job that people are saying that's not a job for a woman or you know something like that she's saying sorry I'm hearing balls to the wall uh balls to the wall just go for what you want um so there you go right number nine uh we'll read this and then we'll get a song for you we'll see what song the queen of Pe uh, queen of wands wants to sing to you so treasure island Essential meanings, the law of attraction bringing dreams into fruition, the results of positive thinking made manifest, abundance appearing as if from nowhere, financial gains and the sharing of good fortune. Well, there's definitely an opportunity for some kind of financial profit or tangible um, opportunity here. So um, with that ace of pentacles, so could be um, could be looking good for you financially here. Uh, you've worked hard and acted upon your unwavering belief in abundance. And suddenly, in the midst of it all, you hit the jackpot. You have uncovered the map to buried treasure and tapped the unlimited potential within you. What you must hone now is your ability to recognise when X marks the spot. Because some of these golden opportunities may be obvious, but others not so readily apparent. Trust your intuition to light your way now as you enter into this truly prosperous phase when all the long hard work navigating your inner life is now paying off externally. It's like, here's the recognition, right? In all aspects of your life at this time, you have good fortune. Don't forget to enjoy it and share it with others as treasure shared multiplies like magic. So it's saying, yeah, so you may need to find some sort of partner in crime here to fill, you know, to fill this seat, um, to kind of tackle this opportunity with you. So it's saying that you need to learn how to recognize, um, when X marks the spot, recognize those golden opportunities when they come in and have the confidence to go for them. But also it does require a little bit of effort. They're saying they're only giving you the treasure map, right? To, to the, to the, to the treasure. So you still have to go and find it. Um, do use that kind of sixth sense um, and and really stand in your confidence um, and I think you're going to succeed. So we need a song for you, don't we? I said I was going to get a, a song. What song would the Queen of Wands like to communicate to us? What message would she uh, like to give us via a song? So I'm randomising from my own like songs. Best song that the Queen of Wands would like to give us today. If she could speak to us face to face, what would she say? Easy by Taylor Parks. Oh, right. Okay. So if it is some kind of um, love relationship, um, she's saying it's it's not easy for me. How do you make it look so easy? This could be somebody that that you've turned away from. Um, you could have broken up with this person possibly, but she's saying uh, the the song talks about. Um, how do you make it look so easy for me it's not easy um you know you go out to, to parties and um I can't remember all these exact lines I love that song but without actually singing it the lines aren't coming to me I may just quickly listen to it and pick out a few lines you make it look easy way too jam easy like you don't even have to try um yeah you partied on while I pretended I was all right uh so yeah it could definitely be dealing with a break up here so out uh, but she's saying look I was ready to be loyal I was ready to commit to you um, 
I do hope that was helpful. Take it if it resonated. To believe anything that didn't. Go and check out another Queen reading if you're interested. And uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, thanks for thanks for checking out the reading. Bye bye. Group number two. Hello. Uh, here we are. Those of you who've picked the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Hearts. Uh, let's find out what she wants to tell us. So. Um, first card we have here is the eye psychic ability trust your intuition so if you had questions regarding this queen of cups she's saying trust your intuition uh, the queen of cups is definitely somebody who has a lot of intuition uh, really does trust their emotions trust their feelings in a situation um, so this may be something that she wants to share with you this ability the lion time to act <laughs> maybe she's saying take the lead uh step up into that confidence that lion energy it's funny <laughs> the queen of wands also had a uh, leo energy coming through in their reading uh time to act lion take the lead um make the bold move be confident uh, pineapple reconcil reconciliation so this could be somebody uh that you from the past perhaps um who um is trying to reach out to you saying look i want this reconciliation or she could simply be saying look if you need to reconciliate with somebody in your life if you need to build that bridge again it's time for you to take the lead time for you to act so she's telling you that you need to take the lead and act in this situation um Possibly she could be waiting for you to reach out to her. Um, she could be intuitively knowing that, that this is something that you want to do, possibly. Um, perhaps pineapple could be significant somehow. Perhaps you ate pineapple with this person, you know, tried to figure out how to, to chop a pineapple with this person. Um, perhaps you've been on holiday somewhere with some... Where? So they're giving me a, a Sims song, which if you're a Sim, you'll probably know which one I'm talking about there. <laughs> uh, but the pineapple could be relevant somehow. Um, Evil Queen, you deserve some sugar, not salt. So the Queen of Cups, who is the most loving queen, thinks that you deserve sugar, not salt. Um, if you have been feeling a little bit like you're the bad person in a situation, the Queen of Cups has a lot of sympathy for you. She doesn't think you're the bad guy, the bad girl, uh, the bad person. Um, you know, she thinks that you also deserve somebody to uh, pour some love into you. Uh, lioness. Oh, you've got lion and lion. Really interesting. Are you a Leo? Uh, lioness, you've earned all your stripes. Um, so I think the Queen of Cups is recognising that you perhaps have had a difficult time of it. Um, and she's saying that wear, wear your scars, wear your stripes like a badge of honour. Um, because they're like battle scars, right? They have made you a stronger person. You've survived situations that have been very challenging to you. The Queen of Cups recognises this. Um, and she's really encouraging you to, um, to really be bold. Now, you've got a lion and a lioness, which is interesting. A male and female lion energy coming through that Queen of Cups card. Um, your, is your Queen of Cups a Leo? Very strong Leo energy. Uh, maybe has Leo placement. Uh, deep knowing. Well, there you go. Uh, the eye, you've got psychic ability, trust your intuition and deep knowing. So why are you even here? Why are you even asking this? The Queen of Cups is like, surely if you ask, you know, your intuition gives you all the answers. She's saying the intu my intuition gives me all my answers. I have that deep knowing. So uh, sorry, that was my daughter shouting to me that the cat has peed on the stairs. So I wish I had the deep knowing that she was going to do that and I would have stopped her. Uh, but yeah, this is um, deep intuition, deep, deep spiritual knowing about a situation. Whoa, Phoenix. <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, oh, my hand has gone so cold. Um, the Phoenix energy. Uh, the Queen of Cups is saying, look, you can rise from the ashes here of this situation. If you've been through something that's been very, very challenging, especially here with this you've earned all your stripes. This is like death and rebirth energy. Uh, it's, um, it's like coming out of a situation fighting, coming out of a situation like seeing all the opportunity and potential. Instead of looking back and saying, look at all the stuff I've lost, it's saying, uh, right, now is the time for my rebirth. Now is the time for me to go um, and shake off the past um, and, and to live um, 
a life full of opportunity. So it's it's about the mindset. Um, and I feel like the Queen of Cups is very emotionally supportive of you as you do this. I think she can tell that you've had a tough time, possibly, um, and that you're ready for this rebirth. Or she is, you know, it could be her. She could be like, look, I've been through it. I've been through the wars here. Uh, but I'm stepping up into this lion energy. Um, and I'm ready for this fresh start. I'm ready for this new start. Oh my goodness, Angel Delanoi. Yeah, somebody has been through a really dark period, could have been dealing with depression, or they could have been doing a huge amount of uh, shad shadow work. Uh, the Angel Delanoi is um, specific to the uh, um, Tarot Delanoi deck, um, in that it's a unique card to that deck, but she's basically, uh, she's like an angel, but she's an angel of darkness. So she's not negative in any kind of way. She's a very supportive energy who guides you and protects you through periods of, of struggle, of trial, of, um, of being in a dark, difficult place. You know, you can't be the phoenix unless you go through the fire. So the angel Denali is very supportive. Again, the queen of cups is hugely intuitive. So if this for you is somebody who has passed over, somebody um you were connected with who is on the other side they are acting as a spirit guide for you in difficult periods uh really encouraging you to to step into that um almost like warrior energy that warrior who survived many battles um and who has the confidence and the ability to um to keep going because they they know that they can win they've all survived they know that they can survive because they've done it before um excuse me so sorry um, otherwise if this is somebody uh, living for you um this is somebody you may have a very very strong intuitive link with um and they really do uh, send you very supportive energy when you're going through difficult patches and maybe this is what sort of person who just knows when you're having a hard time um so let's have a look uh, oh my god the death and rebirth card <laughs> unbelievable like unbelievable I pull these without looking at them. I, I just um, get a card from each deck uh, for each of the piles uh, without looking at them. Um, and yeah, this is what's come through. Uh, I do it off camera because I'm trying to save time, but unbelievable. Right. Um, Death and Rebirth, Phoenix, Lioness, you've earned all your stripes. Angel Delanui guiding you through, through those difficult periods. And the Hangman energy, the Hanged One energy. Uh, so here you've you've got the ability here or the Queen of Cups is encouraging you to look at things from a different perspective. What I think she's asking you to reevaluate is anything that's felt like an ending. It's felt like, um, you know, it's those struggles, those periods of struggle. She's saying, look at it from a different perspective, because when something ends, um, it's also a rebirth energy um, with endings become new beginnings. So, um, yeah. Amazing. I should have expected something like this from the Queen of Cups because she's, you know, she is a very intuitive sign. She's got that deep knowing, a uh, very supportive energy. is is really very, very beautiful. Um, the number two, the Evil Queen. Let's see what this has to say. So this is what the Queen of Cups wants you to know. You deserve sh uh, sugar, not salt. Someone in your life is mistreating you. You keep trying to... <laughs> You keep trying to see the good in them, but they just keep disappointing you again and again. Truth is, some people don't deserve second chances, as difficult as it may be. This is your sign that you need to cut them loose. Unfollow them and block their number. It's time to move on. Do whatever it takes to find some inner peace. For it's just as precious as gold. I'll show you that there, you know... <laughs> Now, this is what the Queen of Cups wants you to know. It's her opinion. So do trust your own opinion in this matter as well. Don't cut somebody loose just because she says so. Um, you know what's right. You've got that deep knowing. You know what the right thing is to do in this situation. Um, you know, it might be that you've been holding on to a situation or a person because you feel bad letting them go. Um, you, you know, you feel a sense of guilt uh, perhaps for blocking this person but if they are taking a lot from you um, and not giving back to the relationship then you know you don't want to exhaust yourself giving to somebody who quite frankly perhaps doesn't deserve your love um, I don't I don't know it's <laughs> 
take it as it resonates leave it if it doesn't if it doesn't you can always go and pick a different queen right um the lioness you've earned all your stripes naturally sometimes with growth comes a little scarring you've come incredibly far and you should be proud of the person you've become think of your scars not as a reminder of the pain you've had to endure in the past but as proof you can survive anything isn't that what i said right death and rebirth phoenix energy amazing okie dokie let's go to if i can find it the wisdom and the oracle book what does deep knowing have to say to us 43 wow <laughs> this reading um okay deep knowing Essential meanings, intuition, listening to the oracle within, empathy, hypersensitivity. Intuition is the faculty that, that allows you in, intuition is the faculty that allows you to enter into a dialogue with source, the consciousness that you are part of but cannot see with the naked eye. It's perplexing that people are taught to ignore this natural capacity to navigate their journeys, to access their inner guidance. Know that you have an ability to read between the lines and find all the truth that was missing when this story was told. This deep knowing allows you to open the door to wisdom far greater than what is available to the limitations of human experience. You're given information that may make no sense whatsoever to the logical mind or five senses, but which is 100% correct and true. The trick is to listen and then to act accordingly. You're now invited into this sacred dialogue of deep knowing. So tune in and trust your vibes. They will be right. Ask and you shall receive answers from unusual sources. I'm going to read the relationship message for you as well because there was definitely something to do with relationships up there. There are occasions when you just know, deep in your heart and soul, that a person is going to play a meaningful role in your life. Somebody crosses your path and suddenly, out of the blue, you're connected on a level impossible to describe. That feeling marks a moment of time etched indelibly onto your soul. Someone has entered your life who will be instrumental in your journey, so pay attention. Two hearts are calling to each other to begin, to begin an alchemical process. This is also a sign that your intuition about the person you care about is correct. Trust your heart to lead you now. Magic is about to happen. So yeah, it feels like there's a, a the Queen of Cups is trying to tell you that if you've been in a relationship, um, and it doesn't have to be romantic, it could be a friend's family work, where somebody has been taking a lot more and not giving, um, almost even painting you out to be the bad person in the situation, um, left you feeling very, very scarred. This is saying, look, um, you have to end this situation because we're trying to bring something a lot better in, a lot, a lot more um, equal. Um, just to note that from this deck, um, no, it's from this deck, sorry. Um, as I was shuffling, the two of cups came out. Uh, about five cards came out. Uh, the two of cups separated and went in between <laughs> in between my legs. Um, and But because so many cards came out, I wasn't sure if I was meant to take it or not. So I put it back in. But the two of cups was trying to come through there, which is an equal balanced relationship. So um, I hope that was helpful to you. Let's get you a song. Here we go. So this was the song that came up for the Queen of Wands reading. Sorry for the spoilers. So if the Queen of Cups could tell you anything, if the Queen of Cups was stood in front of you right now, what message would she want to give you? She was in a plane to Panama. She was in a plane to Panama. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe go and look that song up. Panama, the, the cat empire. See if there's anything there for you that makes any sense. Uh, right. Okay. I hope that was helpful to you. <laughs> Strange song to come through there. Wasn't what I was expecting. Um, I do hope that was helpful to you. Do take care and uh, maybe go and pick a different queen, see what the other queens want to tell you. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye. Hello to those of you who picked pile number three, the Queen of Swords reading. Let's find out what the Queen of Swords has to say. I have a feeling she may be a little bit brutal today. Uh, so expect some honest, uh, honest truths to come out of this Queen of Swords. Uh, she may be giving us the hard truth. A uh, bridge successfully overcoming a problem. Now that's interesting because I feel like the Queen of Wands had um, problems that needed to be overcome. You may want to build a bridge with someone. The Queen of Swords may be trying to build a bridge with you. Uh, you may want to work with this Queen of Swords because she's an ideas person. She's going to be able to figure out how to overcome obstacles. Uh, she's going to be able to possibly someone who can give you really good advice. 
uh, the jug, light heart, light hearted, carefree time. Um, okay, maybe you're just gonna have a really good time <laughs> building bridges with this Queen of Swords. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's have a look. Cat, a two faced friend. Ooh. Hmm. Now, the Queen of Swords will not be two-faced. The Queen of Swords is very, very honest. So she is probably trying to warn you about somebody who is a two-faced friend. Um, hmm. Phoenix. Whoa, no way. Uh, the Queen of Cups reading had the Phoenix, but from a different deck. The Phoenix. How's that for a happily ever after? I love that. How's that for a happily ever after? Phoenix energy. I have got goosebumps all up my arms like i wonder if you can see like, if trying to show you if I can, the camera might f decide to focus no it's not not coming through really like properly properly goosebumps all up my arms when i saw that card then um wow <laughs> wow um the queen of cups reading i don't want to do too many spoilers if you want to go and watch that but they had a lot of kind of death and rebirth phoenix stuff going on in there um storm every hurricane comes to an end oh feels very similar so it could be that the same person is watching the queen of swords and the queen of cups reading um the queen of cups and the queen of swords are giving you different advice in this situation um time oh my god time to go unbelievable unbelievable every hurricane comes to an end time to go Phoenix energy, death and rebirth. Oh, you've got two of these cards. Black. Oh, yeah. N nothing will come with a situation. Something's a dead end. Something's a black egg. Something is dead in the water, not going anywhere. No growth. No opportunity. No abundance. Done. Lion. Oh, my God. Every single reading has had a lion so far. Is it just, are you just Leos? Hi, people coming to this reading, are you all just Leos? <laughs> uh, this is saying take the lead, have confidence, have pride in yourself, be the leader in your own life. It's kind of like emperor energy, king of wands energy, uh, very much like um, leadership, confidence, um, gorgeous Leo energy. Um, I'm getting a bit uncomfortable, sorry if you can hear me shifting around. Um, I can't believe it. I can't believe that every single reading has had the lions and the last two queens have both been talking about this ending and new beginning and the phoenix. Um, Ace of Swords. Yeah, okay, here she is. The Queen of Swords is like, do you know what? <laughs> this is what the Queen of Swords is like. The Queen of Cups is like, you can do this. I've got your back. I'm so supportive. The Queen of Wands is like, take the action already. Look, you know what you've got to do. Cut that sword. <laughs> Cut that sword. Cut that thing out of your life. Draw the line in the sand. Speak your truth and get it, get it, <laughs> get it done. She's very much, um, she's quite practical. She's quite, uh, she's pretty tough, the Queen of Swords. <laughs> So the Ace of Swords is like, speak your truth. Uh, it can also be sometimes a light bulb moment, a kind of like a, a, a piece of information coming in to you. Uh, and it can sometimes be a bit divinely guided, like very, very like um, an opportune uh, thing. You know, like if you've got a problem, it's like you'll open a newspaper and there will be the answer to your problem. Um, or, I mean, maybe not newspapers, but, you know, you um, play a song and the answer will be in the song. Uh, it, it could be like, yeah, a piece of communication uh you know an email that comes on at, at, at exactly the right time you're like oh that's what the answer is to that problem um but yeah the ace of swords is also it's very much like someone speaking their truth um i'm so sorry <laughs> i've had chippy tea <laughs> i'm a bit um a bit uh a bit full uh so yeah very truthful this is like take the lead in your own life uh hold that sword of um authenticity of truth of honor high um go forth your <laughs> young padawan um page of cups oh somebody may be coming in with an apology um could be very very honest very frank um yeah but this is saying pretty much like the damage is already done uh, too too late to apologize they're giving me I, I listened to that song today so um is it it's timberland isn't it it's produced by timberland and um i can't think what the band's called but it's too late to apologize it's too late uh, uh, uh. 
um yeah so you, this could be something that you're saying to somebody else it's too late to apologize i'm out of here i'm done uh, but the page of cups can actually also be an offer of love of support of friendship somebody coming forward um it can be a little bit like when pigs might fly you know this person they are quite young they may be a bit naive they may be a little bit uh, head in the clouds but it's a bit of a fantasist but this card always tells me um uh, believe in the impossible believe in the things that seem a little bit unreal um it's very piscean energy it's like um and it's funny that the queen of swords should be should be telling you this because the queen of swords is very much like um i'll believe it when i see it <laughs> i'll believe it when i have evidence but this is almost saying um there could be something here that's really speaks to your heart space and um feels like um, kind of a divine opportunity here with this ace of swords i feel like somebody coming could be coming in towards you with communication here um, uh, and it's very genuine oh nine of wands there though i feel like this is referring to this situation up here where you've been persevering with something for a very very long time you could actually be dealing with somebody who keeps making the same mistakes and keeps thinking that all they have to do is say sorry sorry and it's like but you keep making the same mistakes so saying sorry doesn't mean anything to me because you're not really sorry because if you were really sorry you'd make steps and efforts to change your behaviors but you keep doing the same thing so it could be that you're really getting to um you're feeling quite guarded against this person at this point you're feeling quite beaten by this situation uh feeling really quite like the wounded warrior um really kind of coming to the end of whatever this journey is so that may be relevant to you may not be take anything that resonates leave anything that doesn't uh let's see what the queen of uh swords wants to communicate they're just still playing that uh, that song too late to apologize um how's that for a happily ever after no matter how hopeless you may be feeling at this moment know this you can and will survive whatever trials you've been put through. From the ashes of the past, you shall create a storybook ending filled with beauty and resilience. All future flames will cower when they hear the whisperings of your name. Whoa, goosebumps again. That's such a cool card. That Queen of Swords is, uh, wow, she is rooting for you. Okay. Sto storm a stone a storm every hurricane comes to an end just when you thought things were taking a turn for the better in came a hurricane of hurt now you now you find yourself utterly exhausted from trying to survive it all rest assured the clouds are finally starting to part making room for a much needed sun for the much needed sun like the clouds this sounds like the first reading now this is starting to sound like the queen of wands reading um, like the clouds, you should also let go of past or present pain in order to make room for something better. Well, well, <laughs> the queens are all more or less trying to tell you the same thing. You can go and listen to whichever one you want, but they're all <laughs> trying to tell you the same thing here. Um, be very interested to see what the queen of pentacles wants to say, because she was a bit naughty. I have to have to say and i don't want to talk about her behind her back so we will tell her off when it comes to the queen of pentacles reading uh let's see can i get you to focus i'm sorry about the not great focus it's because the, the light isn't very good at this time of night uh 45 time to go endings completion walking away from something because there is nothing else to learn or experience black egg the oracle message you are at the end of one journey and have not yet begun the next this is the moment to bless your experience thus far take stock of what you've learned it's time to move on to new just turning the page maybe that's what you're doing turning the page in your own life mm -hmm. uh, new experiences and a new way of being um there is nothing left for you to do uh, be or experience in your present circumstances take the risk and move on even if you need to be in transition for a time your destiny is calling you um, i'm going to read the relationship message because it does feel like there's a relationship coming through at this point um it's it's over or at the very least the, this sorry it's over or at the very least the form this relationship has taken is no longer of service to you or the other person this is a time of letting go, of knowing that the journey has come to its conclusion. That doesn't mean anything is lost. 
although this card could speak to a, a breakup, drifting apart, or the end of a soul contract. It's more about release than destruction. Remember the saying, if you love something, let it go. If it comes back, it's yours. If not, it never was. Endings are always a sign of new beginnings, and if you want something deeper, walk away. Now, again, just once again, um, it is a general reading. There's a few different people coming to this reading. Uh, trust your knowledge of your own circumstances first. So this is just the Queen of Swords opinion. OK, so you can take her opinion or you can leave it depending on your own knowledge of your own personal circumstances. I don't want anyone to suddenly break up with the partner just because of this reading. So if you're happy, if everything's good, then fine. If you know in your heart of hearts and your stomach that, that there's nothing left in that situation anymore, then just take this as one um, one breadcrumb, uh, one pu puzzle piece in that bigger picture. OK, trust your intuition, your knowledge of your own situation first. Uh, but let's pull you a song. So, Queen of Swords, if you were stood in front of us right now, um, if you could communicate anything right now, what would you tell us? Love Song by Lana Del Rey. Just trying to remember the song. <laughs> Love Song. Okay, well, I guess you can go and look that up. You can look up the lyrics. Um, I know that I love that song, but I listen to a lot of her songs and they're all kind of amal amalgamized in my head at the moment. Um, I'm sure it's a very, very beautiful song, if I'm remembering correctly. I know it's one that I enjoy listening to. So, um, right take that as you will and uh yeah go and check out some of the other queen readings if you're interested in doing so definitely maybe the queen of cups reading because it's very similar right okay guys take care bye bye hello to those of you who chose the queen of pentacles i'm sorry i'm still singing the song from the last reading <laughs> i couldn't remember it off the top of my head when it first came up and then i listened to it and i was like i love this song <laughs> uh right okay Queen of Pentacles. Now, I have to confess, she has been a bit of a... Mm. Um, all the other queens, as I was shuffling, I was doing them one at a time, so I'd get each deck, shuffle, get a card for each deck. Um, and every time, it would just be like, one card, one card, one card. Every time I came to the Queen of Pentacles, she wanted like half the deck. Like, so many cards would come out. So sometimes that can indicate a fallout to me. Um, she's just coming through as very bossy and very demanding. She, she can be a little bit materialistic, so she may have just wanted a little bit more than the others. So, <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little bit scared of her energy, though. Um, so, naughty, naughty Queen of Pentacles. I hope you're going to be nice to the people coming to this reading today, because you were not nice when I was pulling cards parrot um somebody will gossip about all your secrets queen of pentacles maybe the queen of pentacles is trying to warn you um to watch out because people are going to gossip about your secrets maybe she's going to be gossiping about your secrets wouldn't surprise me with the way she was being very naughty uh hills obstacles to overcome so the obstacles are presumably um the gossip right broken wishbone wish will not be granted told you she was give, gonna give us a tough time of it this uh, queen of pentacles i uh, don't know who this is for you not a fan at the moment queen of pentacles sometimes sometimes the queen of pentacles is lovely energy for me um uh, today definitely not on my good side um library take control of your own narrative yep okay um The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse would be a very, very controlling energy. Uh, but this is what the Queen of Pentacles wants to tell us. So I'm taking this as the Queen of Pentacles in the upright. The Queen of Pentacles is uh, don't let other people control you. Take control of your own narrative, your own story. Um, a lot of the other signs had uh, signs. Cards had um, things about taking the lead. So um, interesting. Similar message again coming through. The Observer. This has gone up for me a few times actually already this week in this week's readings. Notice this kind of uh, colours as well. They're very kind of like grey, orange, like faded colours. Um, I don't know why that's relevant. Good to come out. Zebra. Uh, the Zebra is Aquarius energy for me. It's um, somebody who's very authentic, somebody who is very... Uh, uh, living their true life and letting their true colours show. Um, so the Queen of Pentacles is probably saying, look, stop living your life by the rules of other people and and 
live your authentic truth, live your true self. The Queen of Pentacles could have been watching you. She could be saying, um, she could be observing you possibly, uh, dancing to other people's, uh, the beat of other people's drums. And she's saying, no, okay, do your own thing, but beware that people, there will be things, obstacles in your way. Uh, you know, you're not going to get all your wishes coming true. She's very practical, the Queen of Pentacles. Um, and people may gossip about you, but it's important for you to beat the, you know, dance to the beat of your own drum and not um, not follow the rules of everybody else, you know, not try and be something that you're not, not be a puppet. So you can see that she's literally got the stripy top on as well, which is a nice, uh, nice similarity between those two cards there. Um, high Priestess. Very, very intuitive. For me, this is um, scorpionic energy or water sign energy. Uh, it's very, very intuitive. Um, could be somebody who's quite spiritual uh somebody who has a connection uh i think i think what this is is the queen of pentacles is telling you get in touch with your emotional side get in touch touch with your intuition um uh, in a situation perhaps you have been um kind of towing the line being in that very um uh kind of like um sticking to the rules uh uh, respecting tradition, respecting the values of the people around you. But perhaps the Queen of Pentacles is saying, uh, look, it's time to break out of that now. Um, trust your intuition, trust, trust your inner knowing uh, to guide you through the situation. It's a very, very strong energy. It's very curious to see why that is there, actually. Knight of Pentacles. So this is a sense of... Um, it being a slow process, whatever you're trying to do, it's kind of a slow process. It's it's like um, make sure you plan properly. Make sure you uh, take your time to kind of look at the fine print, look at this 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 sort of subtle details of a situation. The Queen of Pentacles would definitely approve of the Knight of Pentacles. She'd be like, right, yes, absolutely. You're putting the work in. You're planting the seeds. You're making sure that you're planning properly for the future. But it's very slow moving energy. Um, interesting, you've got two horses. I don't know whether that's relevant to you in any way. And then the lover's card. Uh, the first reading, the Queen of Wands also had the lo a lover's card, not the same lover's card. Um, so that you could be, um, there could be a connection here between these two readings. Uh, this could indicate a choice in partnership. Um, a choice between two different lovers doesn't have to be normally for me this means somebody is choosing love putting love before anything else so uh could be something to do with sexuality here um again like uh, trying to uh meet the expectations of uh uh expectations perhaps religious possibly with the lover's card um and there's um you know adam and eve kind of um symbology here on this lover's card so there could be somebody who's um breaking out of uh, religious ideas of, of how they should conduct their love life or their uh, sexual life um the zebra does sometimes talk to me about um uh, lgbqt plus um 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 I don't want to say issues. Um, I can't think of a better word than issues, but I don't want to, I, issues has a negative connotation. So that's not the word I'm trying to, I don't think that's the best word I could use. Um, but you know what I'm trying to say? I'm sorry that I can't think of a better word. Um, people um, who are finding their way um uh, through life um and and working out who they are as a person who they are as an individual where they love where what they're passionate about um and feeling quite spiritually led i feel here um, and i think the queen of pentacles is almost recognizing this um i may have to pull more cards see she's like see see i told you you should have more cards so let me pull a card um Fine, fine, Queen of Pentacles, you know best. I know that you're the practical person and I'm just the silly tarot card reader. Uh, why is the High Priestess here, please? Why Why has the... Uh, what does the Queen of Pentacles want to tell us about the High Priestess? Thank you. Oh, I think the, the Queen of Pentacles is trying to say that the... This is quite a difficult card. Let me just cover it up slightly. Um, this is the Three of Swords. This is Heartbreak. 
something heartbreaking in regards to this high priestess energy um perhaps the queen of pentacles is recognizing that you're heartbroken about a situation possibly with a scorpio um or another water sign excuse me um she could be She, she could be saying trust your intuition here regarding a situation that could be heartbreaking um four of swords there as well that's healing um okay uh why is the knight of pentacles here what would the queen of pentacles like to tell us about the knight of pentacles please uh six of cups nostalgia for the past a uh, soulmate connection could be soulmate uh um that you spent a previous lifetime with uh but it's kind of like nostalgia for me this card nostalgia for the past nostalgia could be making somebody drag the feet a little bit uh but it's also the six of course is also a card about equal give and take um so the queen of pentacles is saying know your worth make sure that um, any relationships that you enter into um are have an equal give and take um based on probably sh shared values um six of swords is moving away from choppy waters so there's been a, a time of, of heartbreak and healing uh and then this, this period of moving into choppy waters um indecision i'm seeing the seven of uh, the seven of cups there indecision about relationships judgment rebirth energy queen of cups there which this is a queen of cups who's very tied up um okay and why is the lover's card here please what would the queen of pentacles like to say oh um walk away from situations that don't serve you emotionally uh, any any relationships especially sexual relationships where they're not fulfilling an emotional need you need to kind of move away from those and move towards something that is more fulfilling for you on an emotional level so yeah she's telling you stop dancing to the tune of others um Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I'm seeing the death card. Uh, a lot of a lot of the other readings have had the death and rebirth card, and I was actually just about to say, I'm getting the feeling that this Queen of Pentacles, for the most part, for most of you, is somebody who's passed over. Could be a mother, grandmother, aunt, uh, some kind of ancestor. Um, probably an earth sign, but somebody who's very maternal, very practical, very much of the house and home. I'm feeling, um, and as i was sort of thinking i think, feel like this is somebody who's passed over i then saw the death card so this isn't somebody who this is somebody who's already on the other side for me probably uh but yeah they are watching you live your life i'm feeling they're watching you not be authentic they know that your heart is not in some kind of relationship so um they're saying uh trust your instincts if you feel like you've been getting signs from this person this could be why this is here if you feel like you've been getting signs uh, if you feel like this person's around you um then this could be confirmation for you i kind of don't want to make light of this because i know it's very very emotive for a lot of people um but i had to feel like i have to say what i'm getting through so yeah they they don't want you to when you're making choices in love in relationships they don't they want you to make sure that you are um getting that equal give and take getting that um, emotional connection um and being very very authentic and not dancing to the beat of somebody else's drum okay uh so there we are <laughs> 22 again you could be seeing number synchronicities you may think of this person and see repeating numbers it could be confirmation let's see what the queen of pentacles wants to say um take control of your own narrative now she doesn't have to be someone from the other side I have, to, I have to say that it's just for somebody that could be something that's coming through um somebody else is trying to call the shots in your life they think they can waltz in and control your every move and you need to say no to their manipulation it might seem tempting to relinquish control but if you give someone else power over your narrative chaos will ensue and it will be all in their favor not yours the stories inside of you make your own wait the stories inside of you make you a library on the verge of bursting but only if you're the one to pick up the pen now i excuse me so sorry that read kind of funny to me so i'll, I'll let you read that one yourself um excuse me <laughs> so sorry this is what happens when you eat chippy tea and then try and do a tarot card reading um i'm gonna say i'm channeling i watch another reader called pretty blind eyes who i think is marvelous um but every time she she burps she goes i'm channeling i'm channeling <laughs> um okay 
Uh, 49. Uh, the observer. Perspective, objectivity, neutral observation from a distance. Oracle message. Most people see the world through a personal lens. They closely identify with their feelings and experiences, so much so that they come to believe that they, these are their only reality. There are times when you need distance in order to... To gain perspective and understand your circumstances from a more neutral vantage point. Now is one of those times in your life. This is a perfect moment for you to begin to do some exploring. Instead of only considering yourself, consider what you need to understand about the conditions, people, culture and environment you're engaged with now. You'll be so happy you did. Illumination is the miracle you seek and will indeed find. Relationship message. Sometimes you just can't see the forest for the trees in your way. Feelings, feelings can get all jumbled up and you often hear one thing when a person says another. It can be like an echo of an unresolved past experience dubbed over your conversation. Take time out before you react. It's likely, likely the other person has no idea how his or her words have affected you. Take a few steps back and lend an understanding to the situation. Have faith in your connection and trust that you can come together. Take to the higher ground now and cultivate curiosity about what you observe in yourself, in others and in the landscape. You will find things much improved sooner than you know. Yeah, so you may just have to take a step back and distance yourself from a situation, especially if you are feeling quite controlled, uh, to kind of seize back your power. So I hope that was helpful to you. But before we go, let's see if the Queen of Pentacles would like to choose a song from my... Uh, from Right, that was funny. Uh, I'm trying to put my my pin number into um, my tablet to unlock it. Um, and I won't tell you what the number was, but as I was trying to unlock it, nothing was happening. So I kept on pressing the same button. So all of a sudden it caught up and it was the, the number repeated. So again, pattern number patterns, repeating numbers. I'm also seeing number 55 on how long I've been listening to this song for. Uh, so... Queen of Pentacles, would you like to uh, have a look through my light songs? I've got about 900 on there. And pick one that most uh, um, expresses what you want to talk to us about today. So if the Queen of Pentacles was stood in front of us right now, what would she tell us? You should see me in a crown by Billy Eilish. I'm going to run this effing town. Uh, who else got? Somebody got thrown. I think it was the Queen of Cups. I'm not quite sure. Somebody had a throne, or was it the Queen of Wands? Um, I'm gonna take them. I'm gonna make them bow one by one by one. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles is absolutely bossy up. She's very bossy. She's very controlling. She's like, don't let those other people control you. Do what I say. <laughs> She's funny, right? Okay. Uh, I hope that was helpful to you. Do you take care? Maybe go and check out another one of the Queen's readings and see if they have any um, alternate advice for you. Um, and uh, do take care. Leave me a like if you like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment if anything resonated. Share with friends. It really helps out my channel. If you want to come in as a stealth watcher, that is perfectly fine as well. Do take care and I will see you again soon. Bye guys.